I'm absolutely excited to share this garden with you. I've never seen anything quite like it. 1800s house, 30-year-old garden, and it looks so mature, and it's filled with surprises. <laughs> how are you? Very well. Lindsay, how fantastic. Welcome to my garden. Thank you very much. Thank you for the welcome. This is unbelievable. This is an absolute oasis paradise, but it wasn't when you arrived, was it? Uh, no, no, it was a derelict house that had been owned by Jubilee Engineering. It was their offices, so we dug out part of it down below. So this was, you know, rubble down here. So there was nothing here? No. It was absolutely bare. So everything is here you've planted. The blueberry ash and the raffia lepus, the Indian hawthorn, <laughs> everything. Yeah. You've created something incredibly beautiful. Crepe myrtle, everything is here. So just explain to me th the difficulties that you had in, in trying to establish a garden here, because there's rock very close to the... Uh, yes, we're actually on a rock shelf. Right. Uh, so, and the, originally this was a lawn. We had three children were, grew up here, so this we had long jump and basketball. <laughs> So uh, just the periphery was planted right. many years ago. So this was lawn, then a new garden. Yes. So you've extended this even further. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. And, and a uh, veggie garden. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the in the most appropriate spot. You're also on a very exposed site, but this wonderful Maria hedge is giving you a lot of wind protection, isn't it? Yes. As well as a bit of privacy, but yes. the wind yes. protection is really important. Yes. yes. Sometimes we get um, strong northeasters. It's interesting, you've been, you established the garden in a drought, we're in the middle of a drought, and today we've got wind and possibly the first rain in 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, uh, it's looking very dramatic, but it, it just makes the garden look so much more valuable. And yeah. beautiful aloes in full flower. I've just experimented and they're surviving. Now, you've also got a nice little piece of statuary. Tell me the story about those. This is Amanda Stewart from uh, Sculptures by the Sea. And the same as um, Jenny Orchard, the durian lady, they, she called it. So they're ceramics. You've got a combination of different yeah. materials. Is that marble, the, the lovely sort of seat? Yes, yes, arabescata, uh, Italian. Ital isn't it beautiful? Yes, yes. Yeah. Look at this colour. Fantastic succulent garden and cactus. Side. The barrel cactus are looking great. Yeah. So why do you think all these little succulents and cacti work in this little spot here? I think they're the right scale and that they're sculptural, that they actually go with uh, the rock, which was the original um, edge of Sydney Harbour. This is all reclaimed land here. Well, I tell you what, I just love them on little mammal areas on this side here. It's texture and colour and foliage. The house looks magnificent. The garden is spectacular. But look at that view. Fabulous, isn't it? Particularly on New Year's Eve. I bet you it's a great sight. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Very that dramatic. It's just amazing. What a sight. I'm going to ask if I can go and have a little bit of a look out the front. Ah, uh, yes. I'll, yeah. I'll leave you to the view. <laughs> Thanks a lot. On this side, you've got some Kentia palms. They're so happy and so tall, they're coming into fruit. When your palms get tall and leggy like that, if you add a couple of smaller ones, it makes them look more like a little jungle. It's also providing shade, habitat and an opportunity which is even better still for Lindsay to indulge in growing her orchids, her favourite native orchids. Well, I have to say, in 25 years on this show, I have never done a story like this <laughs> on a harbour anywhere in the world. Oh, and well. to be on uh, Australia's finest harbour, looking up at this incredible garden, it's a wonderful piece of history too that Beautiful home, created the garden. Thank you for sharing it with us today. It's oh. been an absolute delight. Not only a beautiful garden and this amazing view. Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> My pleasure, thank you.